Picture this. A world divided not by oceans or mountains, but by centuries-old traditions and daring innovations. This is the story of Old World versus New World Wines. A story of heritage and exploration, of time-honored practices meeting bold experimentation. So grab your favorite glass and let's embark on this journey. But first, let's get into that intro. Welcome to Beats and Wine Stories. My name is Steve, and I'm your host through this vast world of wine and the music that dances along with it. Join us as we journey through the sensory experiences that define cultures, awaken the palate, and stir the heart. So grab your favorite glass and let the journey begin. This is Beats and Wine Stories. Imagine cobblestone streets ancient vineyards, and winemakers whose families have been perfecting their craft for generations. The Old World refers to the traditional wine-producing regions of Europe, France, Italy, Spain, Germany, and Portugal. These countries are the cradle of viticulture, where wine has been made for centuries, if not millennia. Old World wines are often characterized by their terroir, a French term that refers to the soil, climate, and the lay of the land of a vineyard. These wines tend to have more subtle, earthy flavors and higher acidity, reflecting the unique characteristics of the land where the grapes are grown. Think of a classic Bordeaux with its complex layers of blackcurrant, cedar, tobacco, or an elegant Chianti with its cherry and leather notes. These wines are like a well-composed symphony each sip revealing new nuances. Now let's travel across the ocean to the new world. Imagine vast landscapes, sun-drenched vineyards, and winemakers who aren't afraid to push the boundaries. The new world includes wine regions in the Americas, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. These regions are relatively new to winemaking, often with less stringent regulations and more room for creativity. New World wines are typically bolder, fruitier, and more full-bodied. They embrace the ripeness that comes from warmer climates, offering juicy flavors that burst on the palate. Picture a robust Californian Cabernet Sauvignon with its rich black cherry and chocolate notes, or vibrant Australian Shiraz with its spicy blackberry or peppery kick. These wines are like a jazz performance full of energy and improvisation. Understanding the difference between old world and new world wines can open up a whole new dimension of appreciation. It's about recognizing the story behind each bottle, whether it's rooted in centuries of tradition or a product of modern innovation. The next time you're at a wine shop or a tasting, take a moment to ask yourself, am I in the mood for the elegance and complexity of the old world? or the bold and adventurous spirit of the new world? There's no right or wrong answer. Just an invitation to explore and enjoy. And remember, wine is more than just a drink. It's a journey through time and place, a connection to the land and the people who craft it. So whether you're sipping a refined Burgundy or a lively Malbec, know that you're part of a story that has been unfolding for centuries. Here's to the old, the new, and the timeless joy of wine. Once again, thank you for joining and listening in. For the music of Beats & Wine, visit beatsandwine.com forward slash music. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, cheers to your exceptional self.